good I'm gonna get demonetized if I leave that in there so I gotta bleep it but mwah. good morning everyone it is not 4 a.m. but I do have a face like a dead antelope <laughs> if you watch Gavin Hardcat anyways uh, didn't plan on filming anything, but look, look at these conditions. It rained last night. I slept in because I knew sunrise was just gonna be completely overcast, but right after sunrise, around uh, 30 minutes after I got out here, and it is, man, it is so, just look, look at all what's going on around me. Look at all this mood, look at all this light coming through, and just look, look at this compass. I'm literally, I'm parked in the middle of this, this road. Uh, thankfully, no one, has driven past yet, but this composition that I just shot right here with this road, mwah, chef's kiss, oh man, feels so good. Uh, I'm gonna get back to shooting. I will try to include as much as I can for this stuff, but like I'm just running and gunning, wa running around with my long angle lens, getting as much as I can. Uh, I haven't showered in three days and I don't think I've ever felt this alive. It's awesome. Good. Okay, light's changing, I gotta go. Thank you for uh, tuning in.
after that very exciting morning, I get to do something even more exciting, which is shower. Uh, so, I'm gonna go shower and see where the day takes us. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining in to my crazy life of living in this car, taking photos. Appreciate it. Hope the footage was good. And um, I'm gonna go get clean. Later. Next time you see me, I'll probably look basically the same, except maybe my hair will be a little different. Later. How's it going everyone? Showered and uh, it's around sunset time now. <laughs> I ended up showering and then going to a coffee shop, having to get an article written, having to get a bunch of data off all my stuff, back it all up, just a lot of just daily things. So I didn't really shoot much more from this morning from when you saw me. Um, I'm out here for sunset now and you can tell there's a lot of cascading light and it is Man, it is, it is really something else out here. Let's see what's behind me over here. Uh, just... Okay, I don't know if that went through on the mic, but uh, <laughs> probably did. Anyways, I'm gonna just... I'm not setting up any crazy shots tonight. Um, you can tell there's a lot of... Let's see if we can get it to work. A lot of light rays happening right here. But a lot of the times, all this is just gonna go away there's a lot of clouds so instead of trying to lock in one shot and hope that it works i'm just going to drive around take some shots here and there i will try to include you if anything is plausible as in like oh i'm going to stand here and take some shots but either way i uh, hope you guys are having a good evening good morning good day so let's see what we can go get thanks for watching if you are enjoying the video you know what just keep watching. Whatever. <laughs> Later. Good morning, everyone. Last time you saw me, I think I got out of the car and I was trying to shoot sunset and I mentioned some clouds and yeah, as soon as I got back in the car and kept driving, the clouds just completely took over. I didn't even shoot another shot, another anything. Um, and now I think it is a day later, maybe, no, two days later. So yesterday I didn't really, I just kind of took a break. Uh, conditions were amazing. I shot some shots. I just didn't, I, I really focused on just shooting photography. Uh, and I took this road that we're about to take again that I wanted to include you guys in to go back up. It is this road right there. It is a four by four or off-road road that I just happened to stumble upon because I don't do a lot of planning when I come to these things. I just kind of come out here and I'm like, let's see where this road takes me. So that's what I did and that's what we're gonna do today. Right now I'm kind of waiting as you can tell. The sun, it's uh, pretty early. The sun has not come up yet, it's over here and it's like 25 degrees 23 degrees um celsius that's i'll put it up i don't know but it's pretty cold and there's a lot of rocks up there that i don't want to be too iced over so i'm going to give it a little bit more time and just kind of sit here and enjoy the scenes i'm not entirely sure i will take very many photos right now but the scenery is absolutely majestic and i really just wanted to film some stuff and show you guys um i filmed very little GoPro footage yesterday when it was nice and cloudy and it looked super epic so I'll probably put some of that on the screen right after this and then we'll get going and uh, get up this mountain. We're actually going so this road boop, here leads up to that mountain boop, right there. That's where we're gonna go. It's gonna be sick. So enjoy. Hope you're having a good day, good evening, good night, whatever. Let's uh, safely get up this mountain. Yeah.
All right, so we've made it to the top. As you can tell, the mountain that I pointed out earlier is right above my head. That's how high up we're at. Um, I think we're at 11,250 feet, according to that junction sign over there. And it is absolutely beautiful. The drive up here is probably one of the coolest drives I've ever done in terms of off-roading or just taking a random path and finding it. But it's been super sweet. In terms of photography, well, as you can tell, Lighting is kind of harsh, there's no clouds in the sky, and while it is beautiful, it's not the type of scenery that I particularly shoot most of the time. That's why I kind of wanted to just film the journey up here, because I think that that was really beautiful in its own right, even if I never take my camera out to shoot a photo. Anyways, I'm just going to chill here in the car and uh, enjoy the morning, and then drive back down, and maybe I'll film some of that, maybe I won't. Either way, I'm gonna to try to shoot sunset tonight. Good evening, everyone. It is sunset time, as you can tell via the shadows and the light. We're back at Kepler Pass, and as you can tell, the trees are all still green. It's been, I think, three or four days since I was here last, and there's a little bit of color change happening. There's a few little specks of yellow on these trees behind me and some other spots, but for the most part, still green. That means that this sunset shoot is not really gonna happen. The idea is that when the sunset light hits this, hopefully with some clouds in the background, it's absolutely gorgeous when the color change has happened, but it is still very green. Anyways, that probably wraps up this video. <laughs> to my knowledge, there is plenty of content for this video. So I hope you enjoyed. Sorry for the lack of sunset shot. If something happens on the way back out of the pass that I stop and take a photo, I'll try to include it. Regardless, thank you for watching. If you like the video, you know what to do. If you love the video, I hope you know what to do. And uh, I'll see you again next week. Thanks as always. Bye for now. That, I never, later. <laughs>